Uh, the worst part of my life was when I had a Five Nights at Freddy's hyperfixation. Now, here's the thing with that. Uh, <clears throat> all right, all right. What what was bad about your FNAF hyperfixation? Let's like let's like have a have a like a, a fucking <laughs> let's have like a brother to brother here. What what was your uh, what was your FNAF shit? <laughs> Ooh, that wasn't. That wasn't the problem with me. <clears throat> My problem is that me and, like, other friends that I had, we, like, we just role-played as Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics casually, just in in real life. We just did that. We were characters in... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was Toy Bonnie. <laughs> I was Toy Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. <laughs> that was my kin. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel... I, I do sort of give that Toy Bonnie kinny sort of vibe. Toy Freddy. No, that was another one of my friends. He kinned Toy Freddy. I also had this, like, inside joke sort of thing where it was like, oh no, me and Freddy switched bodies. I, I had that sort of inside joke where I, that happened. Like, FNAF 1 Freddy, mind you. <laughs> I, I, I remember a time where I said that to my mom. I was just, I got in the car and I was just like, oh no. And my mom was just like, what? And I'm just like, me and Freddy switched bodies. <laughs> my FNAF, my FNAF fan era was, was a dark time. It's so true. When I was three years old, I I used to watch the Cars movie so fucking much, and apparently I just, like, used quotes from that in casual conversation, too. Like, <clears throat> I fucking loved Cars. Like, I was... It was basically on day, like, all day. Uh, because, like, the, the main menu, when it gets to the main menu, it kind of, like, um... If you, if you leave it uh, by itself... It'll, like, automatically play the movie, and, like, while I would watch the movie, I just fall asleep. So it's, like, the fucking movie would just be playing 24-7. <laughs> Never-ending nightmares. I haven't watched Cars in a long time, though. I gotta, like, <clears throat> I gotta dip back into that hyperfixation of Cars. Yeah, 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 we're watching Fawful's Minion. <laughs> Please consider supporting the not-so-great Fawful's Minion on Patreon for just one buck a month. Link down in the description. I, uh... My throat... My... Uh... Welcome. Welcome, my children. Even yeah, yeah, he totally does. <laughs> for not for the curse. It is written in blood and legend that the chortling one returns on the month of ten. To count the down of ten. More of a blessing, but... Mm, the road we remaster upon now sleeps under a blanket of fog. For the original Who do you think the number one character is going to be, like, the scariest enemy in the game video games? and myself share a fascination <laughs> with fear. So revealing our deepest through the great big baddies is a ride we all gotta try. Now that I suck substantially what? less than I did seven years ago, <gasps> I'm more yes! than ready to stare down the faces <laughs> of evil. A couple notes. This list accounts for both standard enemies 
and bosses. It favors neither, so basically anything. Honestly, that who is the scariest character in FNAF? And isn't human? Like, is gen like genuinely For speaking, more, anything? Is ranked on how much no, but I mean, like, it brings me. So forget who do you think, Springtrap? My, I think the scariest, like for me personally, is probably Nightmare Fredbear. Is deep, <coughs> he just looks so in, in game. He looks so opinion, effective. It just isn't gonna happen. Like he's Most in the, he has the perfect, fun, the perfect stills. So kill it looks nice. creepy just mm -hmm. watching him stare down at you from the hallway. <laughs> From the, across the hallway, it, it is fantastic. You ever look at an spring trap? Is fantastic to though play? too. Yeah, big move. I'm just not Times exactly like scared this, of them. We're petty prejudging. Can actually the see nightmare Fred me. Because unassuming is the new. Yeah. So anyway, I'll shut up now. Bad no more. Right no more Five Nights at Freddy's hyperfixation. They're just creepers. Ah, you broke up. Creepers. Wait. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that. that sucked. Thank you. Each expedition across, through, and around the blocks fills the one coast with much fun, much reward, and much fear. Minecraft survival mode. Don't dance around. Honestly, food. creepers are like the some of the least scary in the game. Only makes the presence of monsters all the more important. I think spiders and Endermen may be are the scariest. Quit archery and Endermen the rest of them are just fucking annoying. In general, but creepers are anyway, experts. At creepers. Hearts how to backflip. Why was he just having like fucking? Creep. This freak of nature is what happens when you feed he, your he just said gunpowder. A sleeper hit amongst all the pop. Popular scary enemies. The mine in Minecraft is a mob unmatched in intimidation. Like a tiptoeing nuke, it creeps along silently. Waiting okay, to be fair, blunder with an exploding. The way it moves Death can be a little bit quiet. freaky when it like and catches quickly, you off guard. It will yeah, one shot any armorless sap caught in it, which means complete. It's, yeah, yeah, it's not scary in design, but deletion. deletion. That's a yikes from the Waffles menu was like blown to up by creepers. creepers to bears in the woods. <coughs> Probably not. Yeah, you are shitting. Right into them. And even if you do, there's lots of precautions to help avoid the bad news. But <laughs> man, Waffles menu kind of sucks though. Watch out! Honestly. The simplicity of it all leaves this brutally effective <laughs> feeling of dread and high alert. Anxiously turn around corners, never stand in one spot, cause ain't no 8-bit Shrek sausage gonna TNT my face! 8-bit Shrek sausage. Dinner's ready. Personal space. Awesome. No, I didn't make it up! They aren't though. You walk up close to them, you hit them, you walk back, you just, you just get that little pattern down, it's easy. Gotta love how colorful your senses are. Sights a noble leader, smells the impulsive nut, tastes got a thing for art, and touch, drama queen. Although hearing has problems. You ever notice how easy yeah, it is to sneaking be up on you is, by yeah. sounds? Because it's so attached to imagination, your nerves disintegrate at Absolutely. the mercy of any sound you don't like. <coughs> no. No. No! The stalker. Chuck this one up as ruthlessly specific. One of the more, let's call it, interesting enemy archetypes is the infamous Run Monster. There must be some secret primal exploitation course in the studies of game design because Far more than one prankster pursuing that career choice knows exactly where the panic trigger is. You know what I'm talking about. Those deliberately overpowered enemies designed to chase you for free. Typically invincible for plot reasons, the stalker, as I like to call it, abuses our ancient fears. Oh, so this is just like a general thing. Claustrophobia. <laughs> just playing around. I don't know. I don't think Mother now Shadow. I don't think. I don't think Tainted Esau is that scary, bro. With hungry magical land sharks. Having fun yet? Oh, and remember what I said about sound? Yeah, it goes triple for these guys. Most of them curse the soundtrack with their very presence, with their own creepy music to scare the 
Daylight Seven, C Resident Evil's Nemesis, Prince of Persia's Dahaka, Kid Icarus's Orn. <laughs> it's admirable in a sick, Wait, twisted what? kind of way to take note of such a thick. What happened? I was like AFK design. for a second. Kind why are you laughing? Why I love the iconic horror villains. It's really smart, even if it ruins your clean pants. I hate you, but if I don't restrict you, I die. Probably the best news any enemy could ever oh, hear. Okay. Understandable. Don't mess with animals. Short, beautiful, insignificant, uh. dangerous. Can't pick just Bitch. one. Bundle only. Plenty Fuck of you. Earth's creatures could JV3 us and catch dinner at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Just show me a picture of a crocodile and I lurch actual man ears. Maybe uh, okay. don't make a game about giant killer reptiles. Just my thought. Yeah. Good talk. My. My. No, voice no, is so I'm tired. not going back in that water. You I hyperfixated way too show much. Me up then. Anyway, let's watch Waffles Minions. At the risk of missing off the hardcore hunters out there, I still have a hard time playing the Monster Hunter games. My <laughs> distaste for the clunky <laughs> controls aside, this is why! Gaha! God, Capcom really bit down hard with the Lagiacris. The bone I had to pick with their third core monster match is now the flagship beast's favorite toothpick. Say hello to Godzilla's baby mama. Laggy's a real sweetie, I tell you what. Always looking out for you. A shockingly good cook. And she gives the best kisses. <laughs> Although, there's a reason she's single. She's freaking terrifying! Every design choice they slapped on Lagaya Chris courts the nerves with a taser knife. She doesn't even look that scary. Honey, huge, <laughs> the devil's eyes, laced with thunder, and boasts an aura of prehistory's most horrific and okay, deadly aquatic reptiles. Like, imagine if Thor <laughs> had a pet Sarcosuchus and fed it nothing but Popeye spinach and five gum. Can I pet her? Sure, yeah, the series is filled with Man just said monsters. five gum. That's the whole point. When was this video but uploaded? what solidifies when, when, when was it up? What, when was it put up? Is how it looms fucking over. Five gum. It's topped up two years a lot ago. throughout the game. It has There's two no fucking way five gum was a thing two years ago. Variants, no. And it jumps you ten minutes that's in. A, that's yeah, so throw dumb. the preschooler to the crocs. And make sure he's wearing top sirloin underwear. Number seven. I still don't get the grand appeal of zombies. They eat flesh. So do animals. They walk slowly. Grandpa says hi. They, uh, look unsightly. Have you seen me in the morning? Yeah, pretty stock design. But they do often push a truly terrifying concept. Infection. The virus spreads. Further burying your whole humanity. 2020. 2020. 2020. And in space? Double yay! Can't spell fear without yay! Kick. Yeah. But I'm after the old school kind of cringe. The thesaurus in my pants begs for a line to be drawn somewhere. Well, how about across my throat? Waffles Mini would definitely be the person to say the thesaurus in my pants. Hold my beard, says Dead Space. Yeah, By all means, is that? I shouldn't even flinch at the Necromorphs. All the exposure to trashy zombie content across the decades leaves you with much num-num. Well, there's such a thing as even... Flinch at the Necromorphs. All the exposure to trashy zombie content across the decades leaves you with much num num. While there's such a thing as going too far in one direction, while it's not one I typically favor, he's going to the, the watch dimension. They traveled legitimately makes me sick. Gruesomely theorized as an omen of humanity's rapid ascent. Space's hotfix to this petty problem was mutation on an omni 
universal scale, exposing all to the enigmatic markers and turn them into the freakiest zombies I've ever seen. By a landslide. Yeah, I know they can come from living bodies, but come on! Don't tell me they're not dead now! Observe the biology, friends. Deformed frame, butchered innards, extra limbs that look like spider legs with sights on them, and that's only the base form. Indestructible regenerators, rotten, bloated baby grenades, and mother of he who carries double hockey sticks! A literal undead moon with tentacles! Yeah, that's it's true. Disgusting and shocking just how far they took the premise. Necromorphs are so loyal to the whole infect them all theme, it's legitimately petrifying to even the most stubborn horror snobs. It's what you get if you let John Carpenter You're a design the human everything race. <laughs> They're going to rate Super Mario Bros. for having time. Ever the fuck wonder up. why fears are so hard to face? I mean, they're just scary thoughts. Surely you don't need a backhand to slay them. Killing something you created? <laughs> yeah. Easy. A lot of the things we're afraid of are formed from illusion. Our own answers to the worst of dwindling hope and self-punishment. Count your blessings, it doesn't come in physical form. Boy, do I got some great news for you! Free cuddles! Get your free cuddles here! Please? 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 Words are hard to come by these days. Makes you wonder why. Is it stupidity? Anxiety, or a giant bloody buster sword. I'm not a fan of Silent Hill by and large, but even I can't run away yeah, from true. its most maligned abomination. Sucks. History's been feeding you lies. You built the pyramids atop the darkest of your inner essence. The eldritch uncle of Shy Guy, Pyramid Head, is a nauseating display of malevolent symbolism. The hideous manifestation of protagonist James Sunderland's desire for punishment after killing his terminally ill wife. This imposing shape of self-torture is the reason the hill is silent. The shock of it all is so demanding. It's honestly hard to scream. While its behavior and appearance aren't personally up to snuff with the contenders ahead, the idea of Pyramid Head is competitive. Without question, it's a monster entirely fueled on realistic mental maladies, regret, yeah, self-loathing, depression, emotional anarchy sparked by Dude, loss, depression isn't a fucking or even jump just the fear of it. What it's especially no surprise that many alive today are scared stiff of this thing. It hits home hard enough to be vandalism. Well, that's not Love fear. Yourself, that's like guys. that's just. I mean it. That's just. Kidding. Anyway, number five. You know the freaky thing about your shadow? It always the, looks what? bigger than you. How interesting that even as the light shines over, the one forever behind you towers over. Me? I think it's a warning of existential repeal. Wherever you lie, be it a lamb in a herd of lions, this is, or the dumbest force music used in, in your realm, yeah. balance will prevail and swap the halves. Sex. Nothing like an omniscient alien menace to remind you that your job sucks. S-A-X. That's a funny way to spell E for everyone. I'm never gonna stop acclaiming Metroid Fusion as the Odysseus of action-adventure thrillers it rightfully is. For its simplified ingenuity and cunning in the art of intensity gave birth to what's easily the scariest entity in all of Metroid, deriving from an entire race of 
vile terrors, the Exus Supreme Soldier made everyone remember this game. In the worst nightmare any Apex Predator could ever be haunted by, the SAS turned the greatest hunter into the unlikeliest hunter. He is coming. In one fell swoop, this arrowing like blood brought Samus to near death. Assimilated all of her powers, assumed her likeness, and turned the BSL station into a horror movie set. The attack left Samus so weak and vulnerable. The roles see a terrifying reversal as the night invincible space pest stalks, manipulates, and pensively tortures the now puny, pathetic bounty hunter. Despite overlapping with the stalker design, it's the frightening twist on dominance and devious power struggles that push this next He's just reading a fan fiction, above like, and beyond. It oh builds horror no. game he, tension just a better than most on. horror games, and it just needs one sound to keep us quivering. The footsteps. Oh my god, the footsteps. And excuse me, how many? <laughs> It will never be easy to wake up. Dreams unravel True. our minds into a personalized blur of visions too powerful this for is reality, we but that we form. don't always wield that power. Nightmares can effortlessly turn everyday rest into what feels like on and off death, as if something on. takes us, tortures us in the Come one on. place where we're always alone. Yeah, hi. Evanescence? You might want to sit down for oh, this. Oh, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Come here, eyes. Roll over! Good boy! <laughs> Despite its successful attempts to shave a year or two off my lifespan, Oh my god! That was like an actual jump scare. scare. I was like Still expecting nightmare, but like I didn't... It know. was hard picking just one animatronic for this job. But despite spring traps, nebulous follies, nightmare is what snacks on my psyche. I can is really scary. He has the scarier still, yeah. It feels yeah. like a push to sissify every Every other drip. I like I like his horror, stare from across the hall more than I like his transforms like, close the up. realm beyond the pillow. And Nightmare doesn't have those. He's even just the close worst up. Can't handle. Look at this. He have a it's design. got all the nope. Red glow in the dark eyes. Fur that's been passed through twelve cemeteries. Kruger patented claws. A jigsaw trap for a stomach. And just this cruel, seething stare. Barring the looks, cause holy shit, yeah. the teethage is real. The terrifying sound design sauces me up with feral anxiety and hopeless what? jitters before scarfing down my soul. <laughs> Make it go away. But it qualifies it as the gatekeeper of top three. Its infernal <laughs> attack pattern the and abuse of FNAF 4's <laughs> terrifying sound design sauces me up with feral anxiety and hopeless jitters <laughs> before scarfing down my soul. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the finest details that carve nightmare into my skin. Think about what it does. A gruesome, skeletal shadow that haunts a terminally wounded child and wayward sinner for his irredeemable acts of child experimentation and murder. It's a reaper. A reminder of our great fear of death. <laughs> <laughs> I may never hold a teddy bear again. You've heard me ask, what is it you fear most? What? Now, I follow that, with... No, that's a line in Ultimate Custom Night, though. Most? Easy answer for me. It was, I don't think it was his Our exact planet, voice, but darker, that's something he says in UCI. More 71% is where nightmares come to sleep. More mysterious than Subnautica? space. More terrifying than anything we know. For all we know, it might not even <laughs> have a bottom. Would you explore it? Yeah, it'll be his time. Leviathan. Okay, 
Okay, deep breaths. Been biding my time for the perfect opportunity to highlight Subnautica and... Uh, can I tag out? Meet the Leviathans, the layman's term for giant monster, every one of the six living units of this elite breed. Turn this fantastic game into a cold, savage nightmare. No matter the size, no matter the temperament, every spawn of bad future timeline Neptune constricts my nerves like the clingiest giant squid. Lower on the fear list are the defensive, moderately sized Treader, Shudder, Titanic Softy, that is the reef back. Yikes. And surprisingly, the skyscraper long devil sea emperor. I hate this, but even Jules Fracking Vern couldn't witness the horror of the aggressive Leviathans without entering shock look the that Reaper, scary. Sea Dragon, and his special like, ghost Leviathan. Makes me want to snuggle Bruce the, the Shark while coated in chum. This is why no one likes you, Aquaman. You let this happen. Everything from the way they uh. move, sound, look. It's like they took all the bad dreams every sailor ever tortured themselves to sleep to and painted them over the deep That's dark how blackness of work, Earth's mutilated soul. The gaze of a you ghost Leviathan could that down, freeze but it's Cthulhu not, it's in its tracks. <laughs> Wake me up! And to think, there was once one of these things nearly a mile long! <laughs> Few things fuel uh, the fear stronger than this place. It was an internet death, by the way. Yeah. Your strongest I got a drink of water while I was gone, though, and be champion feels of your trust. Only for it to be fed through a blood stained mood chipper is a reality much, much scarier than fiction. Although, fiction loves to raise those hairs all the same. You know, when there's no actual stakes, why not drive it clean through our heart containers? <laughs> First, they took our breath. This is now, so stupid. Now, it's back for the rest! Color me very impressed. Not only I haven't has my finished Breath of the Wild, but there's no fucking way these things are but scary. But the nine unrivaled no masters of Hyrulean horror have finally been thwarted after three decades of prolific blood curdling. The floor and wall masters have finally met their match. I'm not even kidding when I say the Guardians are the new scariest monsters in the Zelda universe <laughs> created by the suspicious Okay, yeah, maybe in the Zelda universe, but there's no way they're the scariest in the thing in video games. In the defense of Hyrule no against fucking the way. primordial Ganon, these like half of them autonomous can't even terrors move stand as a sinister symbol of world-shattering betrayal. And a oh wait, this is the second what scariest. What could turn a proud kingdom of light into I thought this dead, was number one. silent wilderness? A fleet full of giant laser-blasting robot Octorox, of course! In one of the most horrific nightmares of modern humanity, technology overtakes biology when it's depended on most. Okay, Hyrule's yeah, the lore makes it kind of, like, sad. Turned but it's, like, post-apocalyptic and shit. But in gameplay, they literally influence. just, like... That's fucking profoundly walk. terrifying. And what like, ranks they, the they, Guardians they do nothing. so high is that they're they embody so such a Guardians real are some of the most Not boring to mention they're game. unholy fiends in gameplay. They're gigantic sightlines, inescapable hostility, do or die power, and the dreaded piano keys. Note to self. Burn all devices! <laughs> oh, here it is. Number one! I'll preach it until I drop dead. Not knowing that I got something that feels <laughs> wrong it's here, is true horror. <laughs> Perchance, the scariest thing ever. Wait, Our what if it's Slender Man? Oh my god. Our desperate search for all the W's is the titleless horror show we're all doomed what if to attend. 
Yes, I please lost be it. Sonic. I've lost Dottie my Xenia. mind for what? Chilled my spine for where? Now, at last, for Sex. why? Come, take what's left. Come. Oh my God. Oftentimes, <laughs> it helps to think before you act. No, don't. Thinking only makes it stronger. Any glance given to Pikmin's apex monstrosity to be fair, they is have primed some kind to be disturbing by things. the unknown's ruthless jaws, and not the a sound are a little would uncomfortable. be heard. Don't let Pikmin 3's plasm rate fool you. This there's no fucking way it's more is unsettling than nightmare. This is some of the most disturbing behavior and undertones any video game creature can manifest. The Pikmin tragic has some coincidence. Great Olimar's original crash landing has spiraled into a sinister theme plaguing any and all captains that dare fly by PNF 404. Something yeah, he's wants us here. All but confirmed by the trilogy's end that the Plasm Wraith is indeed the cause of the shipwrecks. Red flag right out of the gate! You're telling me there's a gravity mugging monster out to forsake my freedom? Am I just a fly in the spider's web? You know, I'm already freaked out. Mind dialing Am I back? just a fly in Funny the spider's man, web? This already ominous enemy raises the nope even higher with mythological bases. He just bases. like clipped that in. You know in. what this thing's called in Japanese? <laughs> he Japanese? just like... Ami Bozu. It's getting real like in the park. Like Ami Bozu, the aqueous ghost of Japanese legend. Yeah, I'm a jealous fan. This icon of folklore Shut is up. greatly feared for stories of it shipwrecking vessels at sea. And what does it want? To kill the captain. Stop! Stop being creepy! The status quo of its mythological drive dictates that the Plasm Wraith is essentially the main antagonist of the series, playing the part of Kraken, dragging us down to a horrible death. That's the idea. But the consistent nuances turn this into something even creepier. Its behavior in Pikmin 3... Alright, well... <clears throat> another video, I guess. Jesus Christ. This is really how we spend these fucking calls now. We're just suffering through Fawful's minion. <laughs> Why is Scout there? Oh, this, this is, is gonna, gonna be fun! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun! Gobbles you Something up. has to be said about balance in video games. Life's easy in comparison. Been pretty soft and squishy as of late. So, how's about we chase down insanity, sending ten different messages to ten different busy bodies that know. reads, You could've tried a little harder. And here's my rules. While these can be any number of things, glitches and bugs are a strict no-no. Also, no cheat codes. That'd just be stupid. I'll meet you on the other side. Bonus points if you still have your head. When you've got big bad Nintendo as your daddy-o, it's easy to get just a wee bit privileged. <laughs> and if you're the favorite child, ha! It's life that has to worry about you. Yeah, same. Mario's forever bathed in the money and Number love 10. of his overprotective guardians, and it's common to tell that nothing's too good for the face on himmy him him. While the likes of Mario 3's Hammer Brothers suit and Thousand Year Door She's Super Mario are easy Mario. pickings, okay. I kind of want to break something. Oh, short fat plumber turned the world riding on a Yoshi. Grabbed a feather, grew a cape, and that is fucking bullshit. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe we should not see what.
Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay. I want to see what he says I need to. <laughs> Gambling addiction. Oh, it's just the cape feather. Oh my god. Super Mario World's cape feather is an oldie but a goodie. Do goodie. Hey, I'll fully admire the team's work to create a super fun and useful power up, but uh. This is a joke, right? You know how platformers all about dodging obstacles and getting to the goal? Uh-huh. I'll let you know if I see any. Of all the ways I've seen a level get its ass screwed, this has got to be the laziest. I have zero clue how Mario's able to surf updrafts with nothing but a towel on his back, but fuck, does it work? Think of it as a free level skip that you can keep if you graduated Donut Plains' flight school, you can leave 80% of the game's courses for dead with your unlimited airtime. Yeah, who the fuck needs okay, gas? But like, and you over can here, do that if you're good the at the fucking I'm supposed cape, to be dude. playing. <laughs> okay, yeah, it doesn't skip every level, it is but disgusting. far more than half of them. How many power-ups do you know of that let you flat out dodge most of the adventure? Just, oh, collapse for you, Nintendi. I fly. <laughs> Plenty of games tend to Was that Terraria music? Any dev team unafraid to throw some fancy rewards to those that, that sounds complete like Terraria passion sounds projects. Like, yeah. He's I gonna talk like about them. Terraria. Most game unlocks hail from the realms of both disappointing and exceptional. I guess the logic is, no need to bounce something extra. You've earned it, champ. Sure, okay, but these are still pretty nuts. I was tempted to reserve this slot for Terraria's yep. Moon Lord drops, because god diggity damn! But then I remember the Resident final Evil boss, 4. Oh, He's oh, the final oh, dear gut splattering Jehovah, it's beautiful! <laughs> this one's for you, CJ. I too share unhealthy amounts of love for RE4's Magnum Opath. Codenamed Overpowered as Fuck, the Chicago Typewriter has both a delightfully humorous name and some of the most ridiculous stats of any gun I've ever seen. Fast fire rate, stupidly high power, you know what gun that? has stats? I don't see it either. Oh well, time to move on. Wait, where's the reload? Oh no, is the game bugging out? Are you telling me this thing has a bottomless clip? <laughs> That's really all she needs to write. An SMG you never, ever have to reload. This would be ridiculous even if the bullets were weak. But I'll have you know, they were handcrafted by gods. See this enemy? Okay, now look at his skin. Mmm, silky smooth. Bam! Now every inch of it is his head. Every shot from the typewriter deals damage comparable to a headshot. Everything dies. It costed me six years' salary and still manages to be priceless. The most exciting part about these types of countdowns is the inevitable generalist pick. You know, when the point of interest blesses, or in this He's case, closer. multiple games instead of settling down with one. <laughs> we all have a blast today, whether is that you're with fucking... or against it. I'd love to chat with the brave soul that advocates for the stun mechanic. Ah yes, possibly the most controversial widespread gaming mechanic still standing today. But just Any the of you fine size. spectators care to throw a rave in the comments? I'll supply the cheese. Since even the dawn of arcades, players have struggled to make friends with this volatile status, failing to see that it has no friends for a reason. Getting stunned in any game not only feels like a legal cheat, Actually, yeah, but that's it's a good pretty question. much the only thing that artificially transcends the We should the look on his channel status. to see if he has Call any eyes of the week. week. But am I the only one that finds having control to be, I don't know, essential? So having something that completely nukes the enemies or your friends' control is not only one of a kind powerful, it's really stupid when you break it down. If you're stunned, you might as well be holding a rock, because it helps just as much. Fighting games in particular have turned this into a fucking disease. There's hit stun, and then there's bullshit. Here's looking at Street Fighter's dizziness, and more personally, Pac-Man's <laughs> Number one, his girlfriend's stomach acid. It's goddamn ridiculous. 
this block, idiot. Well, looky who deduced the placement. Stun's not any higher because you can generally avoid it with defensive measures. Unless you're the same. Yeah, Sandman. this is just another just section that Thoughtful's being right. dedicated to ranting Snap. about how bad he is at fucking. <laughs> oh, look at that. Team Fortress still gets its own segment. It's, it's like, like we're oh, watching Fuffle's Minion or something. When you clocked in over four and a half thousand hours into any single game, you start four and to really and care about hours equilibrium. In the For TF2. something that turns ten later this year, TF2 has stood and still stands proudly on both its legs yeah, true. all by itself. Even if the shin kickers and the new dog aren't so kind. Although, shoes are no shoes, we all step on shattered glass every so often. Care to guess who broke the window this time? Nope. 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 Bingo! This horse is not just dead. It's been roasted, chopped into pieces, and force-fed to Tom Jones's corpse. Twice. But I'm beating whatever's left of it either way. I think I speak for every scout man when I say the Criticola is a scumbag. Letting little Jeremy guzzle down some radioactive Pepsi knockoff isn't what I would call ideal parenting. Spy! Scout's health in the current meta is already pretty questionable. With uber tier unlocks like the fuck you soldiers atomizer, fuck you everyone Sandman, make everyone mad milk, and damn, he already has the best shotgun in the game by default. But that Fucking soda dissolves any and all competition. Bah! Who needs practice? We got skill in a can. That's right, skill in a can. Yep, for a puny 99 cents, you too can be godlike. Really? Absolutely, my main man. Watch with all yeah, as the half ton of sugary goodness turns you into another not shitty Sonic OC with high octane mini crate action. So badass, it makes lesser scouts bow for you. Got milk? Ha <laughs> ha! Shoulda got soda! Drawbacks? Who needs those? You paid a whole one dollar, you dumb fuck! You deserve a break! <laughs> oh, just kill me already. Me! 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 If you've been sitting here thinking I know Mercy, think again. Only detail I know is that she's hot. I wasn't just looking for what? candidates in the FPS genre. It turned into a hunt. Two things so mechanically Forked. I had to double up. We've seen the weapon. Now for the pump that uses them. Most characters I wasn't in getting FPS angry. are carbon copy. To be the blameless slab of death. I was just saying me when Fawful's minion said like kill you know, me or something. You know, a new face is just as good as a new gun. Come on, mix it up a little. I take Jesus every word back. What was that? I do this in the name of flames on fire. The classic OP multiplayer character. This guy, <laughs> odd job. Hell doesn't even take this kind of shit, man. A great A crime against the cosmos to turn one of the best Bond villains ever into such a cheap, stress mongering dick sneeze. I think everybody at this point knows the problem. It's his damn stress mongering dick sneeze. What kind of junk could you be huffing to think this moderately sized actor matched this crunched up, jaggy little shits in game model? I'd gladly buy some of that junk. Win streak in minus five. Five. Where I doubt Goldeneye That is honestly played. just me. Okay, so what? He's short. Problem? Many. The motherfucker's so small, the auto aim points all the shots above his head. You can't hit the little shit while moving. You have to stop and point down to shoot his bitch face correctly. Need the reminder that this is deathmatch? Oh, like the micro cunt is gonna wait for you to finish? Thank fuck he's only in multiplayer. Well, consolation prize. At least he's good as a friend detector. Motherfucker! I've been pretty mad for the majority of this video, haven't I? Well, a fortune cookie told me to unwrestle the jimmies for a bit, and I must obey our crumbly overlord. Overpowered stuff can promote one of two feelings. If you're not raging, you're probably laughing. Various jokers break their game. Oh, no, I'm not. The I'm not. I'm not like laughing. No I'm not so laughing. So half the fun is knowing how busted you really are. Ain't that right, Kirby? Oh, but who am I kidding? The go-to place to be a stupid badass is Skyrim, of course. Gather round, fellow Dovakin. Time to talk about... Um... Sneak. 
Have you ever seen something so ridiculously powerful that it forces laughter on sight? The punchline that is stealth in the Elder Scrolls series I think he's just is talking very about reminiscent of Mario Wolf's or like Skyrim. The game, the game is its little bitch, and it's so obvious the creators knew this. Single player campaigns are suitable spots to take the piss. So, who's gonna complain? The bears? The people? They'll have to see the problem first, and that's just not possible. Sneak is a basic skill the game encourages you to upgrade throughout your adventure. Your ability to go by undetected for some suave assassinations and to bypass danger. Thing is, they made it way too good. To the point where it feels like you put in a cheat code. Investing a lot into Sneak, which is laughably easy to do, by the way, can make you illogically difficult to spot, eventually getting so good that you essentially turn invisible while crouching, or fuck, even while AFK. Do you even sense? You could crouch in the middle of a fight and still be hidden. The AI has no clue where you went, and it's fucking hilarious. It's really that simple. Sneak turns Skyrim into an actual good stealth mission, and I worship it for that very reason. <laughs> Buddy, this is one okay, that's mechanic, funny. That's oh, funny. Glad to have. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only funny thing in this video. And now the very ever. inspiration the one good for this joke whole video. Was just part well, of the I no longer enjoy playing it, and have gotten really tired of watching its competitive. I'm ruefully obligated to respect Melee. Yes, I can't drool over Smash Give Me That Money 4 without submitting a bow to its shiny grandpa. But oh yeah. my god, looking back, this game's balance equivalates to a zombie that's been chopped into Is he going to talk and about trying to find his feet. Just Meta Knight? It's just... just <laughs> yeah. Plenty of things in Smash Bros. Ghosts are disgusting. More than enough to induce polygonal vomiting. Fox's shine, Falco's dare, Puff's rest, Marth's hands. Blech. Wait, wait, what are you doing with that hand? No, I swear to God, Timers! Dear God and baby Mewtwo King. Just, just the wobbling. You know, I thought I was playing a game here. Huh. Mad props, though. That's the handsomest loading screen I've ever seen. I can't believe they left this Fun. in. Ice climbers are loading. cute. They're unique. I get to control that two characters like in unison. Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, back to Shrek Super Slam. Am I mistaken? Isn't the point of fighting games to kick some ass? Well, if you're this pair of Eskimo foes, it's more like grab ass, then do as you please until they fucking die. Wobbling is not only overpowered as bloody hell, it's just disrespectful. Abusing Nana's AI to cut the poor bastard the Popo has pinned down? Sakurai, why? Read me my right strip dicks. This is animal abuse! Yeah, this ain't a joke. That shit's inescapable if done right. And all the fun police needs is one goddamn grab. It's retarded. Let's go! Let's go! Anybody that's cuddled their cold, attractive piece of artillery knows the pain of having to work on aim. Let's put it this way. Holy you can shit. aim a gun, take my keys, take my wallet, this guy take my hologram, and charge has on. Autism You're a greater man like person than I. Thought it was okay precision. to say that? Virtual selection wiped that out ages ago. Lest you risk devolving into a skilled, respectable like, I, I marksman. Upgrade to homing.exe today! Yeah, Play he definitely to the great and powerful yeah. deity that you love, mine Sinbad. For he who gets put in dumbass jokes, installs a shifty aimbot onto your dime a dozen plebeian bullets mid-shot. Homing attacks are witchcraft if I ever done seen it. Homing and I did. It sucked. Essentially being a super guide for items before super guides were even riffing material. Moves like that have homing, homing properties, just like usually homing projectiles, projectiles, are the devil's spunk. Voodoo curse the magic devil's missiles spunk. that zero in on your half okay. asleep ass like a crafty amiibo harvester lusting after the holy trinity. And that's just fun, huh? You Stop refine those gamer skills for a whole afternoon. A time-honored badass. But, oh, 
here comes your day one bestie trashing your face with their fresh batch of canned eggs. All you need is salt. God, head. Oh, darn. I think we just ran out. Not only is this annoying as hell, since there's rarely any way to combat it, it just wrecking balls the entire skill ceiling. A standard projectile set beside a homing projectile is like an empty briefcase set beside a briefcase full of hundreds and Rabbit Luigi's buttery voice. Hmm, hold that joke, Mr. Stand-Up Comedian. Some of us have to aim our tomatoes. <laughs> you really can't. In a series as no one versus can. Pokemon, there's not too Pokemon. much to bitch about in the way of game balance nowadays. I mean, yeah, fairy types are too dominant for comfort, and stealth rocks can eat my ass with the sight of choke on it. But looking at the big picture, he no, wants to. This he does. This 20-year-old does his job and bats no eyes. Proud of you, champ. You are an ugly baby, though. He would smash for it. Generation 1, aka, you're old, motherfucker. But, but, it's the first! It was revolutionary! Blah, blah, blah. I'm keeping the callouts where they belong this time. In bed with the bullet in the head. We all know Gen 1 is a mess to be behold in the realm of technology today. It's dreadful, even for the time, imbalances, makes any trick for 8 has to be. More There's dangerous no than the Australian not. wilderness. Only number 2 calls this torture chamber of the ancients home. Gen 1 Psychic Types. Keep your change. The only future being told here is the one you no longer have. Okay, well finally While still he's powerful specific. to this day, the Psychic Type brought about an age of bedlam and disaster shortly after the series debut, with its unbelievable cast of representatives and battle properties so amazing to the point where the entire genus is counterless. This may as well have been called the Magic Type. It hit everything hard and took nothing hard, thanks to limited bug type moves <laughs> and its illogical immunity to ghosts. There was yeah, nothing he does. you could he do. Would do that. That's not even mentioning that they own the best status moves in the whole game. Agility, Barrier, Reflect, Amnesia! Oh god damn it, Amnesia. And of course every psychic Pokemon is proficient in the retardedly busted special stat. Yes. You no, know, it really wasn't a type. It was a status, oh. uber gods, that slaughtered any mortal who sweet. dared to seek power. They were the very best, <laughs> and then he like just no one ever was. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Goat Jesus, it's all over. <laughs> so far, we've detailed oh power God. that, despite what it wrecks, isn't enough to completely trash the rulebook. Wobbling doesn't make learning your fundamentals obsolete, and having access Number to red shells doesn't the N -word, cancel honestly. the race. But there is one that towers over the game itself. An ability so influential, new rules can be made on the fly with it. Super Metroid's Wall Jump. Okay. Calling it wall this is jump hilarious to consider. consider. Of all the noob nuking, friendship destroying, absolutely gross things a video game lets you get away with, a measly jump is what drop kicks the universe. You're free to giggle, but don't think for a second that I'm kidding. Some poor saps have never even played Super Metroid, so there's a chance somebody could even imagine what this one move can do. Seasoned players and epic speedrunners, lay back. Every mind needs to be blown. Exploration being the entire idea, this is ordinarily sits back and makes you truck through an award-winning world. But by introducing a simple interaction with the walls, a player that knows what a D-pad and a jump button is can use a single chunk of landscape to jump up high or in place for infinity. May I remind you, this is a game where puzzles and challenges are locked behind boundaries that require certain prerequisites to move on. But with wall jumping, it's possible, hell, it's easy to skip requirements and shave off all but the completion time's head. You can go almost anywhere, at any time, with an ability you can never not have. In a game all about the adventure, a tactic such as this is advantage over the game itself. 
I've never seen an ability give the player so much power over what they're playing. It's the pinnacle of control in every way we care. This is being Fawful's Minion. Thanks for the attention. Remember to keep calm and have fury. Farewell! Countdowns of Fury. $1,499 per month. That's how much he's making just by being a fucking dickbag. <laughs> His location is your YouTube feed. Holy shit. To be fair, my location is just Discord on, on Twitter, so... Eh. The video games are now not universal art form and once considered kid stuff and a waste of time. There's hope for animation as a medium to reach that great respect too, even if it should have happened like 60 goddamn years ago. Honestly, him just saying that makes me want to call animation, animated movies kid shit just to make him feel bad. <laughs> Oh my god, you're, <laughs> you're doing the, you're doing the impossible, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, there's no way. <laughs> on this watch <laughs> oh my god that's so fucking <laughs> that's so fucking good oh. Jesus Christ <clears throat> can you wait I just you need can you can you just imagine something imagine the the Mage Knight four zero four Let's Play, but Hilda, but like but like Raymond is replaced with Fawful's minion. Actual suicide bait. <laughs> what? What? That's what we've been waiting for. Okay. What? <sighs> Hope nobody might. Okay. Why are we. <gasps> Chicken? Rip off an existence. Seriously, same color, same effects, only four months later. Huh, grimy bitch with an unspeakable last name. Never mind, not a rip off. Quite possibly the first of all cadaver. Uh, I His personality just makes me cringe so heavily. God. <clears throat> <gasps> what? 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 <laughs> Wait, who posted that? Go up. <laughs> it's in his likes. <laughs> Oh my fucking god!
What? 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 Gen 9. Oh my, oh no. You, wait, what is that, what did that read? Oh. <laughs> wait, you ready to work out with me? <laughs> well, what is the one below here? What is that? Is it an airplane? Is it a dragon? What about both? <sighs> oh god. So many rabbits. What? What happened to him? He ate without you. No beans. That's good. I. I will kill and dethrone God. Sure, Grandpa. Let's get you to bed. Ridley Park. Okay. As a kid, I spent hours breeding Lapras and releasing them because the Pokedex said they were almost extinct. Honestly, that's really cute. That's, that is really cute. Oh no. Oh no. It's my birth. Oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just, oh. <laughs> it would. It so would. <laughs> Let's keep going, keep going. <laughs> Oh. Does this count? <laughs> I have fallen asleep. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. But there are no nipples, right? Like, I don't think it totally counts. Not dick? Oh, those are its tails. Oh. Uh, that is 100%. That is just soft core porn, yeah. Soft core Pokemon porn. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> 100% P. 
pure, unbridled evil. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is just... What? Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that Underfell Sands NFT? Was that Underfell? That was Underfell Sands! It is! It is! <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. I mean, maybe it was Papyrus, actually, but... Eh. <clears throat> I made a new Switch front. Oh, okay. A second, go up. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Go back to what Beak Beak eighty five said. As you once said, "Vor me, Death Daddy." <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! In your words from one of your farless. Oh wait, no, that said fearless. Okay, I I thought it's I thought it was a misspelling of fearless to say farless, but yeah. at last, <laughs> some call me Johnny is cooler, Logan. Oh, I haven't watched some call me Johnny. Not gonna lie, I don't know him. Anyway, uh. Let's keep watching. Also, like, I 100% have to uh, upload these videos, right? And, like... <laughs> mug! Mug! Let's go! <laughs> it's another mug! <laughs> it's, an, it's another Pokemon. Oh... of coochie <laughs> my main goal is the same as mr. minions okay Why does he love Why does he love Gujra so much? <laughs> True, I guess. <laughs> he is a pretty basic uh s slime and furry enjoyer and probably vor enjoyer. <laughs> that one admin guy. 
<clears throat> Chikorita is a friend. Oh. Uh. Does that count as foot? Uh, that that's just tip. Yeah. <clears throat> so like, it's one hundred percent like canon that. Fawful's minion is a furry, right? Like, there's no way. No way he's not. My friends follow this... <laughs> My brain just produced that. <laughs> Wait, was that? Was that? Was that like Fiend Folio? Go back to that. Hold on. Man, you have the best mom, Logan. What? It wasn't? Aw. Uh... Wait, literally the only downside to being borderline BFF is your mom shows exactly what you want for Christmas. You know, I can't buy those must-have holiday games myself day one without being a real jackass. She always gets me them long. And she knows what franchises I'm into. Me, I gotta wait for Metroid Dread and Shining Pearl, y'all. Guaranteed she got all that shit pre-ordered for me right this minute, Lamau. I'm, I'm starting to get tired, but I can't rest until I see Fawful's minion porn. Wait, wait, wait. Was that was that a was that a Munchkin? Was that a was that a Munch? <gasps> it's a Munchkin! <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> Please just have porn. Honestly, you should just search up Fawful's Minion NSFW. Like, just go to search and just search that. Oh, I, I meant like search on Twitter. <laughs> just go to, tw to, to search Twitter. Fawful's Minion. <laughs> NSFW. Aww. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> we just went back to the watch and the fucking unmasked, ju the unmasked jump scare. Huh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Alright. My soul has been raped. Honestly, we found all of the powerful stuff we needed.